All right, folks, welcome back to another budget gem or budget bust. Um, got a four channel here for you today. Um, this is the Pioneer GMD 8604 four channel amplifier. Um, you know, we saw the monoblock a couple of weeks ago, and at that time I had purchased that one and this one at the same time because I said, you know what, we'll see if the uh, monoblock does as expected, and we'll check out this amplifier here because if it does its ratings this amplifier is a pretty good steal for somebody uh, these are rated at um, <laughs> they're rated at four channels at a hundred watts a piece at four ohms CEA rated um, at two ohms four by 150 and these are even listed as one ohm stable at four at a four channel mode um, so it'll it's rated at 125 watts though so they say it makes less power at one ohm versus uh, two ohm. Well, we're, we're gonna find all that out here. Um, I probably won't do a one ohm um, uh, certified test. I'll probably do a one ohm uh, dynamic test because one ohm on a four channel is pretty, pretty harsh. Um, but, you know, Pioneer tends to be pretty accurately rated. We're gonna find out here if it continues with the sport channel. But uh, before we do that, let's unbox it. Let's see what you get here. For, uh, I paid $128. $128 for a 100 watt per channel, four channel. That's nuts. You know, that's crazy. So, let's open her up. Of course, we get the uh, typical Pioneer owner's manual and warranty registration card. Uh, one amplifier. And uh, not a whole lot else in the box. Uh, we have some high-low adapters, and tape in the inside of the box is Allen key and screws. Um, I won't be using any of those. Let's, uh, let's check out the amplifier here. Pretty, pretty simplistic-looking amplifier. Um, it does have a nice carbon fish finish, uh, carbon fiber finish top to it with the big Pioneer logo. Um, let's take a look around the sides of the amplifier and see how this thing is connected. On this side of the amplifier you have all your input and output terminals. Uh, your power and grounds are over here and they accept uh, four gauge wiring. Of course your remote terminal is in the middle. You have your two 30 amp fuses, so 60 amps total. And over here, um, this is maybe a little backwards but these eight gauge connections uh, this is actually the rear terminals for the speakers and these are your fronts and you bridge them differently so really if if you are going to bridge these channels uh, make sure that you follow the diagrams down here because it actually is different from A to B over here you'll find your RCA inputs and loan outputs and all your different settings for the amplifier. Now, one of the things I like about this one is, is that it already comes with a input selector between two channel and four channel mode. So if you're running a budget head unit that only has one set of RCA outputs, or maybe it only has two sets and you're running another subwoofer amplifier, um, you can just plug in right here into channel A and all four speakers um, will be powered. Um, over here, you have your either low pass or high pass frequency adjuster. Um, you can select if you want to do full range, which would be this off selector here, or if you want to run in low pass or high pass filter mode. Um, your gain, which is uh, on here and here for both front and rear, um, that's also adjustable from 6.5 volts down to 0.2 volts, as you can see. So. A lot of nice ability for um, adjusting the settings with this amplifier. All right, nothing left to do but to hook the uh, Pioneer GMD8604 up to the amp dyno. Um, just to explain how we're gonna do the testing so we can load all the channels down, um, we're gonna do a eight ohm bridge test, a four ohm bridge test, and a um, two ohm bridge test. So how that will work is that, you know, the two channel, well, all four channels bridged, 
will give us uh, two by eight ohms. That'll simulate four by uh, four channels at four ohms. And the uh, four ohm bridge test will simulate four channels at two ohms. And the same thing, two ohms mono bridged um, will equal out four, four channels at one ohm. So that's how we're gonna do the testing. So that's why you're gonna see eight ohms per channel, four ohms per channel, and two ohms per channel. But that's how we're gonna represent it. That's how we make sure that this is not some, oh, we rated one channel or we tested one channel and uh, that's what we rated all four by when the app doesn't really produce that. So we're gonna load all the channels. And we're gonna see exactly how much power this little Pioneer four channel actually produces. I'm thinking it's gonna do pretty good. Let's check it out. All right, folks, final thoughts here on the Pioneer GM D8604. As you saw, this little baby is underrated. Holy, holy cow. Uh, I was shocked by that two ohms bridge test. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of giggling here. I mean, this little thing produces over a thousand watts at two ohms mono. And, uh, you know, it, it says it's supposed to do 250 watts not 500 plus I mean that's crazy that's awesome um, and as you saw there yeah it produces more like 125 watts uh, at, f at 4 ohms per channel and uh, more like 175 watts at uh, 2 ohms per channel so very very nice job Pioneer and uh, you know I've hooked it up to some speakers the sounds pretty good um, I have no complaints at all with this amplifier for 128 bucks and with warranty this isn't like some gray market deal for it I mean that was 128 bucks from a legitimate authorized reseller and that's a normal price that's not even on sale that's a normal price you can get it for this you know awesome why not if you need to run some mids and highs or even if you want to run mids and highs off uh, the front two channels and do a subwoofer on the rear this thing's got enough power to do it put it on your shopping list good job pioneer solid budget gem folks for the four channel um you know i've been recommending a lot that infinity 704a and uh this is a better value it really is so go pioneer all right folks that's it for me let's uh I got more amps to test. I'll see you next time.